The same five states are voting on the Democratic side with 384 delegates at stake. A clean sweep would leave Hillary Clinton just short of the nomination tonight. Nancy Cordes is in Philadelphia. Unfazed by the delegate count, Sanders insisted he can catch Clinton no matter what happens tonight. Is she strong enough on poverty to win over your supporters if she needs to? Well, I'll let my supporters make their own decisions. But you have a lot of influence over them. Well, I am one person, and my job is to win this nomination. If I don't win the nomination, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that a Republican uh, does not get elected president of the United States. The Clinton camp argues he will have to go further and embrace the nominee like Clinton did in 2008. And I did not put down conditions. I didn't say, you know what, if Senator Obama does X, Y, and Z, maybe I'll support him. Clinton did back him unequivocally after she dropped out in June. And he must be our president. But in April of 08, she sounded a lot like Sanders does now. Senator Obama's remarks are elitist and they're out of touch. This time, just like back then, there are hard feelings that can seem insurmountable. Just today, the Sanders campaign accused Clintonites of using language reserved for traitors to our country, saying we are giving aid and comfort to Trump by attacking Clinton. I know. And Jane Sanders said the couple will only release additional tax returns if Clinton releases transcripts of her Wall Street speeches. Secretary Clinton hasn't released a transcript yet, so why don't we wait and see what happens? That is a switch from earlier this month when Senator Sanders released one year of tax returns and said he would soon release several more. It shows, Scott, that despite pleas from Democratic leaders, he intends to keep a focus on Clinton's Wall Street ties until the very end. Nancy Cordes rocking the vote for us with the Democrats.